everyone. We're going to start to make our, our Japanese wind socks. Here's my finished one. Um, let's take a look at the art supplies that we need first. There are four art supplies that you need from your art bags. Now, these three supplies, your piece of fabric, your, it's either blue or yellow, um, fish tracing template, and piece of white string. These are in your new art bag that you just got. This little piece of thick paper is in your old art bag. So grab all four of those. Then you will also need scissors and glue, markers, and a pencil. So let's start first with our pencil. And we're going to use our tracer. That's this paper. It's either blue or yellow in your new art bag. And your fabric piece. It's a big, long rectangle of fabric. Place your fish, tra fish tracer on your fabric. And I think it would be easiest if you push the top, this straight line all the way to the edge so that you can do less cutting. Once it fits on your fabric, go ahead and trace the outlines. I'm done with this. I don't need it anymore. I can recycle it. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut along the lines that I just traced. Fabric is a little bit trickier to cut than paper. So go slow, try and cut right along the lines. You also might need a helper to help you with this step and that's okay. All right, so now I'm done with my scissors. I can throw away my scraps. And next I'm going to grab my string, my thick piece of card stock, and my glue. What I'm gonna do first is I am going to glue the top and bottom edges together. So place your hand down and then go ahead and put a little line of glue all around the top and the fins on the back and keep going around the fins and the bodies on the bottom and I'm going to keep going until I get all the way to this part and I'm going to stop. I'm not going to put glue on this straight part here. All right now I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to try and meet the two pieces together. They should be about the same size. And press down. Okay, now, should look kind of like a fish. This part should be open still and the rest should be closed. Now, we're going to take our card stock. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the edges of this because this is going to help the mouth stay open. So we're gonna kind of wrap that around in the mouth part. So what I'm gonna do is put some glue. Actually, I'm gonna put glue all over this so it holds really well. Let's put glue all over the cardstock. Okay, now I'm going to place this inside. Now here's the tricky part. You might have to open it up a little bit to get this piece inside of here. And you're going to stick the piece down and try and wrap it around the fabric like that. You might have a little piece sticking off. You can cut that off if you want. So see it's right on the edge there when I close it like this, it should look kind of like a big open fish mouth. Okay, I'm not gonna glue this part down yet because I have to next glue my string in. Okay, now that we've glued our card stock inside, we're gonna take our string and our glue stick. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to be sticking the string inside of here to the card stock. So what I'm gonna do is take my glue stick and there's two spots where I have to put my glue. I'm gonna put glue on the edge of the cardstock right there. And then a little bit of glue on the inside, the middle part. Okay, so two spots. And then actually I'm gonna put a little bit more glue on the edge, so those three spots right there. Edge, middle, edge. Take your string now and place one end of the string on the first glue spot on the edge. 
press it down. Take the other end and put it on the middle glue spot, press it down. Now go ahead and close this up. Don't smash this part down. We're just gonna smash down these two ends. Now hold this for 30 seconds. Count in your head 30 seconds and press as hard as you can with your fingers. Once you think you've gotten to 30, you can kind of press this open a little bit carefully and your string should be staying in there pretty well. Um, let it dry a little bit because if it's a little bit wet, it might wiggle around on you. And if you notice that this part is coming off a little bit, what you can do is you can take a little scrap piece of paper and you can glue that on top of it to the cardstock. You can even use your little fish template like this. So this might help, I put some glue on here. This might help the string on the middle part stay down a little bit if I just press this down almost like it's a little piece of tape. I'm gonna hold that again for about 30 seconds. Okay, once you've, hold it, once you've held it for 30 seconds, it should stay in there. The mouth should be open. And now it is time to decorate the fun part. All right, go ahead and grab your markers. You can decorate your fish any way that you want. I did kind of like a tie-dye rainbow pattern with my markers, and I'll show you how I did that. If you would like to make this tie-dye pattern, what I did is I started with putting my colors with my markers all over my fish and I blended the rainbow colors together. Something kind of neat that will happen if you want to do this kind of like rainbow effect is if you take a little bit of water and spread it on your marker on the fabric, it will bleed a little bit and it will blend together. So I'll show you an example. If you have a tiny cup of water and maybe a little brush, like a paintbrush, and you take this water and you dip it and press it over your colors. See how the paint or the marker is starting to bleed a little bit, going to the edges. It's mixing the marker color together, almost like paint. So if you wanna mix your colors, I would put water on it at the very end so it doesn't bleed through to the back because some of you might wanna color the back. So I would color all my designs and then I can use a little bit of water if I wanted to do that effect. You can also use permit markers. If you wanted to make a design that does not bleed, permanent markers will not bleed. They're permanent. So if you have a permanent marker, you can try that as well. You can put patterns on top of your colors. All right, friends, when you're finished with your designs on front and back, your Japanese fish is done. What you can do with your fish is you can hang it up. Oops, my string came out. I probably need to glue that one again. You can hang it up or since it's a wind sock, you can pull it like this through the wind, almost like a kite. Go outside and try it out. All right, friends, I hope you had fun. I can't wait to see your art.